I want to straighten the image, right? So this was something where um, we had a manual area before, but now I want to use upright. So upright's a new feature in Lightroom 5, and it enables us to straighten the perspective of the image, right? Because a minute ago, we were just removing any distortion from the lens. Now we're actually going to straighten the image, the perspective of the image. So one of the things to know is that if you're sitting there and you're taking a photograph of something and you're, you're having to tilt the camera up or down or you're off angle here, you got to know that if you're going to use Lightroom to straighten the perspective, you probably want to shoot a little wider. Because we need more data. If you're going to be squishing in or expanding out, you're going to need more information to play with so that we can get that area straightened. Otherwise, what will happen is something will probably get cropped off that you need, and then you'll have to make it up, and you'll have to go to Photoshop and use Content Aware Fill. And ah, we would rather use Photoshop to be creative and not just you know fix stuff. OK. So in an image like this, you'll notice in the basic panel, before you get to upright, there's a reason that the engineers put these options here. They're encouraging you. They're saying, could you please enable the profile corrections and please remove chromatic aberration? And if you want to, you can constrain the crop. But we'll get to that in a minute. As soon as it does it, then I'll, it'll, it's easier to explain. All right, so what can we do here? Well, there's four different options. So honestly, you're just going to have to try the options to see which one works, OK? Level only levels. So if you've got a horizon that's off, yeah, you could fix that in, in the crop tool or using the angle tool. But here, if it's obvious, Lightroom will just level your image. That's all it does. It's just looking for a horizon line, and it'll level it. Vertical says, well, let's go ahead and do it. Would, will it do it? Yeah, it did it a little bit here. So there was off, there's level, OK? Vertical, uh, OK, we need to reanalyze this. Let's reset this file. Why aren't you doing anything here? Level, vertical. There we go. OK, so sometimes um, because I use the same files over and over and over again. No, I don't. I never use the same files over again to demo. This is the first time I've ever used these, but I practiced with them. So what happens is when you click these options, like the level and the vertical, that information gets cached with the file. This is way too much information. There's only like 5% of the people that will even care about this. But it gets cached, and we have to do that because if you think about it, when Lightroom 6, not that I know anything about another version of Lightroom, but if another version were to come out of Lightroom, and we change the math, we want to make sure that we don't change what you've already committed to. So it caches this information in the file, which is why we have this little reanalyze. So if you're in here messing around and you go and you forget like to turn these on and you're playing around with all the settings here and then you go, oh, I forgot and Julianne told me that I should do that and you come in here and you enable these, then you might want to go in and reanalyze it if you need to. All right, so the button will become enabled when there's cached data that it wants to say, I'm going to throw that away. You're making a conscientious choice because you want to try it now with these other options. OK, so vertical straights, straightens the vertical lines, right? But the horizontal lines are not straightened. And sometimes when you do the vertical lines, it starts to look really weird because it just doesn't look natural. So that's why you might want to try auto. So auto, those lines are not vertical. Here it is off. Here it is, auto. So yeah, it looks a lot better. And it looks more natural than vertical does. I don't know. This, you might not be able to tell as much because it's a simple door. If it was like you know, a Chicago street line or something, and there's like a ton of buildings, and you're really far back, when it has to straighten those buildings, you just would never see the buildings that straight. So it starts looking weird. And then full actually does all of your horizontals as well as your verticals. At least it, it tries to, right? So, once it's done this, you can see that we've got these little issues on the side. That's what I meant by if you're going to need to change the, the perspective, you're going to want to shoot a little bit wider. And that's where you can use the constrained crop to tell Lightroom, OK, just go ahead and crop it as big as you can, but we're going to need to crop out those areas that are just white. Now, in, in a case like this, when I uncheck the constrained crop, if we go to the crop tool, we actually have to tell it to reset. So I just tap the R key. That got me to the crop tool, and I'll say reset. And then we'll come back down here to, um, to lens correction. So in this case, yeah, this side's going to be difficult to make up. This side would be pretty easy. Just take that over into Photoshop, select it, and do a fill with content aware. Would probably get you where you want to be. 